It's a bird. It's a plane. It's my cum. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. I wanted to hate it. Live from, from New York, York City. City. We're, we're, we're not live from New York, but we're going to be. Uh oh, when? Ladies and gentlemen, our second live event, Stiff Socks Podcast, is going down this November. November 9th. Huh. Bam, 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 November 9th. November 9th, dude, at the Stand Comedy Club. It only holds about like a hundred seats. Yeah. So we're going to sell this bitch out real quick. So if you're listening to this right now, which you might be, I would uh -huh. highly recommend getting on those mother effing tickets. Okay. It's a part of the New York comedy festival. So it's going to be a fun week. When is it? It is November 9th at the stand comedy club in New York city at 10 P M. Where do you get tickets? You go on my website, blogcomedy.com, or Trevor's website, which is trevorwallscomedy.com. Link in both of our websites. Go buy them tickets. It literally only holds 100 people, so it's going to sell it very quickly. Go cop. Um, and obviously, I'm on tour, and Mr. Wallace is on tour doing stand-up comedy, so go grab tickets for our shows as well. Guys, Gabriel, splat them up. Splatopotamus. <laughs> What's up? We in the studio. We fucking vaping on what Gabe's up? vape. Dude, this use this uses the th the use the, oh Jesus. What? The USB USB C. You can charge an iPhone and a vape with the same charger. Dude, do you know I just realized my car has a USB C in it? Yeah. Did do yours? Did you USB C it? Yeah. Cut it. God damn, don't cut uh, it. But isn't that funny? Like you think of like the the C input as like oh this is elite this is like for yeah. like high level yeah like level shit and then people are just vaping on tropicana and motor oil and we're like yeah this deserves it what flavor is that slip and slide um it's uh <laughs> let's see slip and slide slip and slide just sounds it just makes my legs itch saying the word slip and slides oh the cut have you grass. ever been on a slip and slide yeah yeah oh they're so fun they are but like by the time you like fully like lay out you're you're already in the you're off yeah, but you ever try to make a, a long one where you like tape two together? No, but that's pretty ingenious. It is until you do it. Oh. Yeah, they just rip apart. Stupid. Dumb. You ever try to use construction paper for a condom? For a what? A condom. A condom. Yeah. I feel like that might not feel very well. What? Well, good? Very good? Very well. When I'm off you, the vape, dog. Me too. When did you learn how to, to like decipher between good and well? When people when you correct use my English, well? I'll, I want to uppercut them. On oh, Halloween. Gabe. No, it's ours, Gabe. I can't do I can't withhold the vape from Gabe. Yeah, there's no way. Gabe's That's our juice. produce so bad. How many times of... when you're editing the podcise do you have to take out the noise that you're going? Well, I don't vape while we record. Really? really? Mm -hmm. That's so respectful. That yeah. is really nice, Gabe. Yeah. Gabe, you're that would really be nice funny. Guy. I will say a lot of times during shows, even during stand-up, I'll just see like a little cloud kind of come up from table C <clears> and I'm like, fuck yeah, Tevin. Hit that shit. You know what's funny? When I see that, I'm like, this is not enough for you. I'm oh, fucking, oh, oh, I'm, oh, oh, I'm, oh. I'm opening my whole entire heart and Dude, soul to you. How about that girl last week in Virginia Beach? Great shows. Great audience. Virginia very Beach. Very fun. Really stepped up from fucking Plano. Not the oh, people. Oh, my. Not God. the people. The people in Plano are really nice. Dallas is very nice. Just, I mean, how many times do you have to bring it up? Yeah, yeah. The shows. The shows are great. In Virginia Beach, very boy. Fun. But the, a girl sitting in the front row, pink hair, told me she took ecstasy before the show. If I'm going to do ecstasy and lose all my serotonin, bye-bye, R.I.P. Sarah Antonin, I want to be at a rave. Comedy? No. I don't. You're just fucking chewing on your tongue. Be like, the way he talked about that Honda Civic joke. Ugh. Yeah, I don't even know what ecstasy does, but I know for sure that if I took it, I'd be in the audience being like, oh, that's a chupacabra. Imagine, that's not a human being. You know being. when you come? Yup. It's like that, but for like an hour straight. Out Can't of, be. But out of your whole body. It's great. So you're coming out of your entire body when it, you're on? Yeah, it feels like, like, pretend your whole body can come. Got it. Hold on. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, imagine like all the pores in your body. Yeah. They all kind of like. Whoa. It's like, it's like, okay, you know how a nut's quick sometimes? Sometimes you get the, like, the, I got, I got three, almost three nuts last night. You had a great nut last night. Wow. Welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> you had a great nut. Not last great night. Great nut. You know why? Great Be nut. I'll tell you why, because we're on the road. And so four, four days of not, <laughs> fucking, Nutting. not fucking. And right. when you go back, boy. Yeah. Girl, boy. Yeah. My girl was. Bark, bark. Yeah. Give daddy a bone. Mama wants cum cum. <laughs> Yeah, that that 
so imagine the nut these guys are busting when they get back from you know war. Yeah, World War Two, Vietnam. You ever, you ever see when the dogs welcome them? Wait, the army yeah. guy almost comes on the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean the baby that, again. Michael's off the vape, but I that nut is just. It yeah. Did, did it's you almost like you have. It is okay. Hold on. What am I trying to say here? I'm off the vape right now. <laughs> Me too. I'm feeling I'm good. Off the nicotine. Um, Me too. So when you don't have the nut and you're yeah. taking all this time and you haven't yeah. seen your significant other, other is that intermittent fasting? Yeah. Intermi intermittent fapping. Title if I've ever heard one. Run it on all what? three cameras. Intermittent fapping. Fapping. Intermittent fa fap. Fap. Jack off. Jerk off. Who the crap? hell says fapping? A lot of people online. Really? Oh, you heard that oh yes, I have. Fap. Yes, I have. Yes, fap. I have. It's fap, like fap, the noise. Fap. 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 You know. Fappuccino. My, Whoa. So, I'm so sorry. I just tasted my entire salad. You ever burp and taste your all your food? Yeah. That's from, why there's certain foods that the, it's it it'll just stick with you. you yeah. Know? And you're going through like Korean barbecue. You, you'll be four days over some KBBQ and you hit a quick, yeah. and you're like, yeah, go to gang. You're like, <laughs> damn. Gang? Uh, go to gang. 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 Yeah, you burp. You're like, oh, damn, that was a birthday cake for my seventh birthday. I'm 30. <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream cake. Where were you at with that? Oh, were, ice cream cake? Were you a fan? Yeah. I never had ice cream cake for my birthday, though. Really? No, I always got regular cake. I feel like if somebody had like ice cream cake, I was like, oh, fucking Steven's got it like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. You own T-Mobile if you have if I you didn't have ice cream like cake. how the consistency of the cake came out, though, because the cake part was like it was like denser. The ice cream hit. Yeah. The, well, the cake part has to be like more cold than regular cake. It's well, the right. Well, exactly. Yeah. I just cold cake ain't all that great. Actually, I take that no, back. Cold yeah, cake is phenomenal. Cake. When you get the at the grocery store, they have like the pre-sliced cake dude, slices. I'll tell you what, I, I immediately take Whoa. everything back. I said I had some carrot cake from fucking Whole Foods. That was mm -hmm. like or Airworm, you know that shit in LA. But it was the slice individual, and it was cold. Oh, I wanted to go back in time and make my birthday that day, so I could just eat that without anybody looking at me and judging me. Dude, let me ask you this real quick. If you're going to prison. And you're if. in prison for sep okay. When you go to prison for tax <laughs> evasion, you whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hey, okay. Hey, I pay my taxes. Uh, okay, so you're you're in prison. Who knows what you did? You probably held up a fucking hot topic or whatever. Uh, I was probably too hot, and like we gotta like sky up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Too hot to handle. Too hot. Yeah. Season so three. you go into prison, right? Yeah. Prison. Come out five years, no fucking. What are you doing? The moment you get out of prison, what are you doing? Coming. I just don't know where. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. I'm kind of just gonna like I might make like an event page for it on Facebook and be like, I'm gonna be coming at this location. Uh -huh. If nobody shows up, fine. Uh, if ten women show up and they're like, we're here to help. Yeah. By all means. Mm -hmm. Hoorah. Can Postmates bring hookers? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a pimp. Good pimps still around. I pimps. Do they fill a W-2 out? How do they get money? Where do they put it? Well, that's tax fraud right there. 100%. Also, do you have to wear a coat if you're a pimp? Like, you, like a pimp could dress like Gabe. Gabe could be a pimp. That would be fire. But you have to have a cane, a top hat, and fur that is like orange. I also feel like you need to have a lot of rings. Yeah. Right? I just found out one of my buddies that I grew up with is a big ring guy. <clears throat> well, he, he posted yeah. a photo I hadn't seen in a while. Uh -uh. He had like five rings on. I was like, because one, you're like, all right, this is, I mean, they're married or it's like, hey, it's a thumb ring. The thumb ring. I don't fucking know. Are you going to wear a wedding ring? Yeah. I'm going to wear what? No, right? I'm going to wear, <laughs> I'm, I think I'll wear a wedding ring, but that's when I'll become a ring guy. So I'll wear multiple rings. Blend in. So then I can cheat. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. People okay. like, you married? I'm like, am I? <laughs> <laughs> and then they go, let me see your ring finger. And then there's 10 of them. Yep. And you go, oh, they positive minus like, negative. They can't stop. Dude, yeah. this is how I was watching the Chappelle special last night with the, the old girlfriend. And within 30 seconds, she just goes, is he married? I'm like, yeah. yeah. He's, well, he's not wearing a ring. Who cares? If my comedy makes somebody question, is he wearing a ring or not? That's literally why I like wearing plain clothes on stage. Just because I don't want anybody to question anything about it. And be like, is that, is that sure to hand me down? Yeah, I also don't Where like get that, you know? wearing like... Uh, 
words on my chest right because i same, feel like people same. are like reading yeah I, shit. I have illogical thoughts about that too is that a word illogical illogical yeah yeah, you got yeah. It. okay you got it cool you got Thank it you pat on the back uh but yeah i think there's too much going on yeah and every time i've worn a shirt with like too much on it i feel like i have to address it or i have to like be like oh that set was okay Probably because I have a shirt with Stone Cold Steve Austin on it, and they're not looking at me. They're right. looking at the fucking man of the hour. And Stone also, Cold. like, the amount, the, like, you need to be so good that show to justify you wearing, like, kind of like more wild clothing. Right. Because if you're bombing, if you're bombing in a oh, shirt that yeah. looks like Toucan Sam's skin, you got a problem. Yeah. Well, dude, I, in, uh, it's so funny. Uh, I brought this windbreaker with me to Lexington, Kentucky. All those shows were great. And I'm like, I was feeling myself. This was a Saturday show. And I was like, fuck it. You know what? I'm going I'm to wear this PT Cruiser windbreaker I have. I like that PT. And I've posted it on my store. I put it on the story that night. Like, a hey, fucking fit of the night. Uh -huh. I'm 15 minutes into my set and go, uh -oh. this is not going the way I want it to. Oh. Take it off. Off. Back to normal. Really? Yeah, back to normal. It's just about being comfortable. It's all it is. The last thing you want to worry about is yeah. like, oh, my new Reeboks, they're too stiff. Yeah. I mean, we, it, we wear the same Vans on every show for the last... <laughs> it's these. Yeah, we have. bought these in Salt Lake City yeah. together. <clears throat> it's Make like, out. hey. But yeah, it wasn't even the... Because the PT Cruiser was on the back, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it was just like a little thing in the front. But the, the movement of it, I felt too like... For sure. I hated how I felt. I was like, this is not me. I'm not a windbreaker kind of guy. Why does Superman need a cape? Uh, maybe it's because he got a fat ass and he doesn't want to get hit on by girls. He does have a fat ass. Yeah. I saw I saw the new Batman trailer. Oh, dude, looking hot. Who's playing Batman again? Fucking Robert Pattinson. Whoa. Really? I'd pat oh. that dick. RB? Yeah, I was just making Wait, sure. Wait, no, RP. RP. Yep. Nobody corrected me there. All right. Uh, Twilight. Twilight. He's playing Batman. Yeah. They looking do, fine. I know, but like, how many stories? Are, uh, did, uh, why do they keep changing? Why is there so many stories? Do it's, one movie and then be done. It's not different though. Every Batman's the same. It's li it, the, the this is why I don't different. watch movies. I'm like, this is it's the same. They've made Spider Man the same exact one. I'm not shitting I you. I can't believe they, they four times. Should what? I make another White Claw video? Like, what the fuck do these people Look at want? Me. Yeah. Yeah, just start doing. Yeah, you just call it the reboot. You can just go through all your your, your videos and just do a reboot. Version. So what makes? Because if, if you if real quick, I'm so sorry. If you hired a kid that looks sort of like you and just did the exact same white claw video, it would get 400 kabillion views. Yeah. Reboot. So. No, then people be like, this guy's trying to be Trevor. Right, but fuck. Goddamn. Big shout out to our first sponsor of the mother effing episode, our boys at Manscaped. Buzz, 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 buzz. Trevor, uh, let me ask you a question, man. You ever cut your uh, balls while trimming? No, because I've Manscaped. Have you? Uh, Yeah, I cut my balls, but really? in freaking college, dude, I was shaving with a razor like an idiot, Crazy. cut it, blood started gushing like a freaking Freddy Krueger film, looked like goddamn Halloween all over again, e. had to put a bandit over it, Yikes. hooked up with a girl that night, she's like, what's wrong with the balls? I said, I didn't use Manscaped, bitch. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> Yeah, you, not only that, but what? you didn't unlock your confidence with the performance package yeah. TM trademark 4.0. Inside, you'll find the holy grail of men's grooming items. They've made it easy for you to upgrade your grooming routine. I mean, I, I'm. it's just really time to tackle that problem with that lawnmower 4.0. I don't even know why I'm reading the copy. We have these. I love these things. I can't stress it enough. First of all, yeah. waterproof. Second of all, still to this day, haven't, haven't charged, charged it. it. Haven't charged it. It's got an LED freaking light on it, dude. If the San Andreas fault happens again, I'm good. But Maybe. I don't know. But I do know I'll be clean shaven with a little light and I'll be walking around town and be like, who trying to get this clean? Didn't tell you. Use it on my girl. What what, yeah. what 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 buzz, buzz. What, what, what 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 I work in a barber shop. I don't cut heads. How I cut cooters. Buzz buzz. How much was down there? Oh, it was gross. Really? No, just joking. It was fine. I just wanted to see if it worked. I don't know. It's the same hair. I don't know why it wouldn't work, but I just did a little trim. It was great. Is she down there? Huh? Weird. Anyway. All right, hold on. I'll paint you a picture. Ready? 
Here, I got pictures. Let's <laughs> show you. Look, dude, and what's great about the what? performance package 4.0, they even threw in two free gifts, dude. Boxers and a shed travel bag. Love Bring it. your comfort in boxers to another level. Ladies and gents, get 20% off and free shipping. How much is goddamn free shipping at manscaped.com backslash stiff. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com backslash stiff. Goddamn. <laughs> Riddle me this, moviegoers. That's actually in Batman. Riddle, Riddle me Riddle this. Riddler. Riddle me this, Batman. Isn't the Riddler a thing? Mm -hmm. uh, Jim got... Carrey. So good in it. He's great. Uh, question. Okay. So what? what's the difference between a 48th Spider-Man and then like like doing sequels? And part twos and part threes. So it's the same. It's what he's just saying. When you reboot, you're basically telling the same story from scratch, just with yeah, different actors. And yeah. you're saying this isn't can, nothing that oh. happened in the previous movies. Oh my is dude, that's fucking that's genius. That's doing layups while you're sitting on top of the hoop. It's already yeah. scripted for you. Well, I mean, they definitely they definitely the path has been paid. They definitely change it, but there's a built-in fan base for the story. So they're just copying <laughs> off each other's papers in class and just getting A pluses and being like, whoa, we're good at this. Well, dude, that's the wild thing about film is they literally copy and they go, oh, well, this is a, this is a Michael Bay shot and we'll just do it here. They literally call it like a Michael Bay shot or they call it like a whoever yeah. shot and they just redo it and no one gets upset. And it's already tested and proven that yeah. it's going to work. Yeah, yeah. It's like taking one of, one of your bits and be like, oh, cool. And at the end of the credits of your Netflix special, the person who stole it, they go, oh, credit, Trevor Wells. No. That is so interesting. Wild. But the second they try to do a sequel, the Dumb and Dumber prequel and sequel, I wanted to go on a journey to find Jeff Daniels and be like, what is this? Was Jim. it really, it was really bad? You haven't seen him? No. The bad sequel bungle? was... It hurts because I just love the movie so much. Uh, I've also seen three movies, so I don't know how to base it off of things. But yep. uh, the the sequel, that's the one after. Right, the, it went the original and then the prequel. And the, then the prequel, sequel, right? prequel was horrendous. Hold on. The they, prequel they, it was, was, it was it was Yeah, the prequel was like almost like a straight to DVD kind of thing. I think. Yeah, like it no, wasn't I remember like seeing it. Big, yeah, they went yeah. prequel before the sequel. They did like them before they were Dumb and Dumber, but it wasn't Jim Carrey or Jeff Daniels. It was like two random dudes that just found in like Tuscaloosa. They're like, y'all act? No. I swear. I want to see what they or who they were. Yeah, Watch I mean, it just I, be like some I mean, very famous actor now. Yeah, it's probably no, it was not good. They they were like literally like eating poop, I think. They were riding a short bus, and I was like, guys, you can't do this. What is going on? Yeah, no. And then Dumb and Dumber 2 was garbage too, right? Uh, I will say I stopped watching halfway. Wow. And yeah. Dumb and Dumber 1 is like your favorite movie of all time. Dumb and Dumber, I think, is just... Besides Marley and me. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Dumb and Dumber when Harry met Lloyd? Yeah. Oh, it's God. two random dudes. Like oh, you, I know that dude. You, who That's, is he? Uh, like, imagine trying to fill the shoes of Jim Carrey. Who are these Eric, people? Eric Christian Olsen played Jim Carrey's Oh, character. I know this guy. He's yeah, actually really fucking this. talented. This guy? Yeah, he's actually really good. He played Jim Carrey? Yeah. Yeah, he was Jim Carrey's character. Uh, oh. All right, well. No, he's actually super talented. He's in, um, isn't he in like a CSI or some shit? Well, I mean, here's the thing. Like, this came out, you're be like, fuck yeah, why wouldn't I do this? This movie's legendary. It's going to get a fuck ton of views. And then you're like, oh, this is not good. Yeah, 10% um, Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I don't know if I've ever seen... Something that low. What's the worst? What's the worst rated Rotten Tomatoes movie ever? Oh, I think you're just talking about it. Isn't it the we got Jason Derulo? Jason Derulo. Oh, cats. Cats. You have to say his name like that, by the way. Do you think when he goes to restaurants they go party for it? Jason Derulo? Do you think when he comes he does that? Because that's yeah. what I would do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would 100 percent do. If you had to stick with one catchphrase the rest of your life when you orgasm, what would it be? It's a bird. It's a plane. It's my cum. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. I wanted to hate it. Yeah. What would you go with? Here's a car wash. Strap up, Cinderella. Yep. Okay. That sounded like <laughs> I just, I was, you know, when you tap 10 seconds and uh -huh. you like try to skip through on a podcast, it sounded <laughs> like I was just hitting 10 different sentences. Um, so we got the 25 worst movies of all time. Oh, oh according to Rotten Tomatoes though? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. According to Rotten Tomatoes. So Ballistic X versus Sever. I remember oh, that was this so good. You saw it? No, I never. I don't know. I, I, I saw this in 2002, and I, so I was like 10 you years old. This? I saw this, and this was the first movie I can remember like having an opinion on being like, 
this is fucking bad. Even really? at 10 years old, I understood just dude, how ten year old, bad 10-year-olds love everything. I was sitting next to this dude in the plane, Delta, and this dude was maybe like 13. He was watching Mortal Kombat, laughing because he thought it was funny. Have you seen the new Mortal Kombat? No. Trash can of a movie. Just trash can wow. of a movie. Just absolute trash. But he was literally laughing. He was like, oh, this is funny. Dude. I wanted to fucking break the screen. Yeah. This is not funny, sir. It w- yeah, it was terrible. And what's this one? This that is E.T. Mac and Me. This is, I think, the one that... Have you guys seen Marley that bit me? Paul Rudd does where he goes on Conan and he plays the same trailer over and over again when he's trying to promote a new movie? It's always no, a trailer for... really funny. It's always a trailer for this movie. It's like a, it's like an E.T. knockoff that I think is also like a McDonald's Mac sponsored and me? thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. Oh, this looks like The Room, but But E.T. the thing is, is if any of these movies hit me up and be like, do you want to be in this? I'd be like, oh, well, I'm down, yeah. Yeah. And then it comes out and you're like, oh, no. Yeah, because every it's Guys, like you were saying. Like, everyone thinks like when they get involved, it's not like all these people are going to come together and make this film and be like, <clears throat> let's make something bad. Everyone believes in it when they start it. Yeah. Well, also, I've been filming stuff of my own or my friends and or any small project, and I go, uh, this is, ugh. but you go, you know what? The edit has so much to do, and I or, or a question I'll be like, oh, fuck, I don't know if I got anything funny. Is this even good? You, you know what? In the edit, we can make it funny. And that's what a lot of these actors probably do. And then they go to the screening and they're like, oh, they they kept that in there? I will say, though, do you ever, like, watch a movie and you're like, wow, this actor is horrible. Like, it's just awful. And that's yeah. how bad the actor is that they couldn't. Oh, even through that editing. That they couldn't through editing. I mean, there's there's ways where you can hide a shitty performance. There's, like, 20 different ways you can hide a shitty performance. Oh, yeah. Imagine them with no music on it. Just talking. No, no, but no or music. Or dare say there's, score. There, there's ways to. Cut, like you have a bad moment just cut to the other coverage like there's ways to hide it go to the insert shot yeah. that's how bad every moment was you couldn't even save this this guy's or lady's career what's this one this is this uh, is recent travolta playing john Gotti, mobster cut it what did he get uh i think these are all zero percent with zero oh wow i didn't even know that was possible i don't know either yeah so here's the full list ballistic x versus sever pinocchio Nokia. let me see if i've uh-huh. seen any of these well, Jaws got a zero? No, the revenge. Jaws the revenge. What happened? The, J- the shark ate him? This is straight up about the Jaws shark goes and follows a couple from the West Coast to Hawaii to get revenge on them. That sounds great. <laughs> Hawaii, great water, very warm. I will say, oh, the, nut ca- the Nutcracker in 3D. Yeah, it's probably terrifying. Fuck that. The Return to the Blue... Well, no, not the. Return to the Blue Lagoon. It does look like a lot of these are just like sequel ripoffs where it's like yeah. well, fuck it let's just do another jaws or whatever i'm trying yeah. to see if cabin I've seen fever one. i've seen what's some recent ones what's cabin fever Keep cabin fever is like, like a, seen it. it's like a thriller um it was pretty big what's I think the worst one... movie you guys have seen or being like wow this is not good i saw one that was uh will ferrell and john c Riley. not it wasn't Step Brothers, obviously but it was uh they were like in a war or something. It came out. It came out on Christmas a couple of years ago. I gotta find it now. But it was just like it seemed like they wrote it in like eleven minutes. The Sherlock Holmes one. Yes. Oh yeah, I heard this was really bad. I it was just it. like it was like it was just so dated. There was so many jokes that were like happening that year, but mm-hmm. like by the time it came out, they they were kind of old news. Yeah. Hold on, Sherlock. This is like a real one. Yeah, they did a Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, this came out. I remember seeing it on like Christmas with my family. What a weird choice. Because wasn't, what's his name is Sherlock Holmes? Yeah. Like actual or, no, Sherlock- Holmes, Watson. Holmes and Watson, yeah. Yeah, Holmes and Watson. But it's not like the series. Dude, I was pumped. Because no, I mean, I, I love Will oh, okay, okay. John C. Reilly's great. But it's just like, it was just, what does that say? Oh, the worst movie ever. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that's, this one got That's ten. what Google Images asks, or Google questions right, asks right off the bat. It was one of those where you're like three minutes in and you're like, what's happening? Yep. Yep. Yeah, just a bunch of like random famous people in it just for no reason, a bunch of cameos. And there was a movie I saw recently that was absolutely horrendous trash. And I couldn't, because I can't hate watch shit. You know, some people can like, oh, this is so bad. Let's keep watching. Mm-hmm. Cannot do that. If it mm-hmm. like, it like, I feel like there's spiders inside of me when I'm watching shit that's like horrible. That's why I can't ever watch those reality shows. Because I'm just like, I, I, it, it, see, it, I it, love that. Fucking can't because do it, it sets the tone. I know going into it, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be shitty, and I'm excited for that. Oh no, this made thirty mil in the box office. Yeah, but it was probably it probably cost one hundred and fifty to make, plus another one hundred and fifty to market. How much did it? You know, words funny, crude. They're like, there's crude sexual material. Yeah, 
<laughs> Welcome to comedy. Tits. Crude. Need oh, it. your act is a little crude for me. Is it? Then get off the boat, <laughs> you fucking bitch. God damn it. Where's the worst place you've ever done comedy? Plano, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um, <clears throat> the worst place I've ever done comedy? Yeah. I mean, I've said, I told this story before. I, I had to follow, follow a, a drag queen and I bombed my entire dick off for 30 minutes. Fire Island, New York. But, uh, but I'm saying like- Oh, what, like a comedy club? Or, no, not comedy club, but just like the worst, like whether it's a stage or you're like in a laundry mat. Oh, oh. Do you have did, any like You that? did one at a, at a detox or a rehab? Oh, that was- I've done one there. That was, it was actually fun. Well, I've done one in LA that was so fun and I've done a bunch in New York that were fun. This one was terrible. Yeah. It was, there was, I told the story. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I remember I've told the story was, too. Mine was at like the private party at like Mastro's oh, right, where I was right, 17 right, year old right. and it was just terrible. Yeah, I mean, dude, literally TV. They were like, I need heroin so bad. And I was and they were like, cool, cool, you're in rehab. Can't have heroin. And uh, they're like, all right, well, that's my second choice is to watch this, this movie they're watching. And then the nurse goes, turn it off. Here's comedy. <laughs> what? No. Leave it on. You're probably watching a great movie too. Oh, dude, they were like, like there was Godfather. There was three of them, and they were like really enjoying it. It wasn't Godfather, but it was three? like three. Yeah, it was three a, people. Oh yeah. I would have just sat on the couch and joined them. I mean, I about did. I tried to do a bit, and then I just was like, "What's your daughter's name?" I just like had a oh, full no. conversation like I was next to him at a bus stop. Oh, it was no. awful. When you're not expecting stand-up comedy, and then stand-up comedy starts happening, it's the worst thing ever. Well, you're the most judgmental audience ever. You're like. Hey, we were enjoying a thing. Now this guy's here to fuck it up. Like, yeah. you know how funny it has to be to to make somebody who's in rehab, who is watching a movie they enjoy, uh, laugh. Dude, yeah, they want heroin. <laughs> it's like, like oh, we don't want we don't want this at. This is the last thing we want. Yeah, a small fucking kid to be yelling in our faces. Yeah, do, do you remember any of the jokes you did? You're like, so I went to Whole Foods and look, you know, I go there and I bought $17. I got a zucchini and two kiwis. I mean, these prices, the guy's like, give me that mic cord. I will strangle myself right now. Yeah. I mean, dude, they, they, they I, I mean, I'm trying to even think of a bit. I think I did like this, like Brooklyn joke I had for a while. Where was, where was the, it was Manhattan. where was the show? Oh, the show was in Manhattan. In Manhattan. Yeah. And it, how'd it do? The joke uh, or the whole show? The joke. Awful. Oh, okay. Awful. Everything I said was awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were not like, I made like the nurse laugh like three or four times there and I was go. like, oh, I'm crushing. Yeah, you find that one person who, who yeah. laughs and you're like, you are my basis of yeah. all of this. I was also livid at my friend because he was hosting the show and he was like, oh, dude, this is great. And I was like, is it great? And he's like, yeah, yeah, it's great. It's great. It's great. Yeah. And I, it was one of those things where I had to run from that to another show. So I was like, I'm just going to let you know, man, I don't have a lot of time to have to get to Stand Up New York. So like, is this show yeah. going to be cool? He's like, oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Hosts never lie though. You'd be like, how are they? They'll be like, yeah, they're cool. Which is code for, ugh. Yeah. Not my favorite. You ask me, I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> you some, some do. Some are like, yeah, they're, they're a little stiff. But a, a lot of hosts are like, no, nah, man, they're good. They're, they're good. Yeah. Also, but it's hard for a host to know what the hell's happening because they're like eating drinks the whole time and they're fucking, you know what I mean? They right. But sometimes like, you know. You have those jokes that sets the barometer and you're yep. like, oh, this didn't even get y'all. All right. This is going to be a rough one. Time to bring up the night. Or when the, the host brings up the next comedian, they get off on a joke with no laughs. Uh -huh. You're awful. like, oh, all yeah. right. I'll piggy bank off. Should I finish? Should I finish it? Here's my interpretation of what your punchline was. Are you going to make fun of the host? If he bombs in front of you? No. I, it, it, if I know him, I'll, I'll do it. If you know him, yeah. But like, right. I, you know, I'd just rather be in a position to be like, give, let me get out of this as quick as possible. Let me prove to this audience as fast as possible that I, I that that I I'm confident. Like, yo, I got this. I got this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Walk up there, boom, quick one. Yep. And then if they're like, ah, there we go. But if I walk up and get a quick one, and that doesn't hit, I go. <sighs> this is gonna be rough for me as well. Oh yeah. Because you're never in the back being like, I mean, we all we joke around a lot. We're like, oh, we're gonna bomb, blah blah. But you're never in the back being like, oh, I'm gonna eat a dick. You're usually back, like, just let, let, let me get on and I'll, I'll, I'll do, figure I'll it do out. well, I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's always a funny thing when you get up and you're like, oh, I can't figure this out. This yeah. is, he was right. I'm bombing, well, he's also, bombing. It's like everybody has, like, you're very hard on yourself, but you also have those moments where if somebody ahead of you is not doing well, you're like, oh, I got it. Yeah, of course. I got, I, oh, I got the, the tricks up the sleeve. Yeah, it's like, well, they, they just don't like that person. They'll yeah. like me. Yeah, and you're like, oh, no, no. I, and then you get up there and you're like, all right, time to, uh -huh. 
And, then and when it works, it. it's great. Uh huh. And you're like, wow, I am elite. And then when it doesn't work, you go, oh, cool. Back to AutoZone. 100%. I work at Cinnabon now. Cinnabon. So good. Do people who work at Cinnabon come home smelling like Cinnabon? They have uh -huh. to. Yeah. Oh, my God. I Could know. you imagine going down to a girl after a long shift at Cinnabon? <sighs> that ain't the only cream on top. God. Oh, damn. damn. What is that cream that lives in come. a vulva? <laughs> Wait, it's what? It's not come. There's like just white sauce down there sometimes. Oh, you take oh, your you take oh. your cockle out and you're like, you really do work at Cinnabon. Yeah. What is that? It looks like the tide that comes in at the ocean. The rip yeah. Pearls. Seaweed. Seaweed. Bitch, you a dolphin? I don't care how manly you are. Seaweed touches your foot, you're getting weirded out. One hundred percent. Dwayne the Rock Johnson is in the ocean and it touches him and he goes, All right, well, I'm gonna buy the ocean and get rid of all of this. Let me tell you something. Dude. How much do you think seaweed is a shark all the time? Uh, I well, I don't. It, I don't even know what it is. I just don't like it. I know it's not a shark. Shark, it's a shark for me. Really? Every time it talks to me, I'm shark. Shark. I'm so scared of sharks. Yeah. Well, people Nothing? don't help you. You. Don't, I just pretend it's not a real thing. Oh, it's a real thing, though. No, Daddy. I know that. But hey, you can't. Samsonite. Real thing. Yeah, but also it's like before you go on a roller coaster, are you thinking about every time a roller coaster in Florida, which is always in Florida, yep. it like snaps off and somebody goes Some, flying off the sometimes. Superman? Oh, dude, I I, I check my thing like really? 40 times. Yeah. You're making the screws loose. <clears throat> Let me tell you something, dude. When that fucking vagrant of a human being walks by you to check <laughs> your thing, you do you wouldn't even know how to check your own cockolas and you're checking you're checking my yeah, strap. It is a little a lot of pressure. That that carny of a fuck doesn't know what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He doesn't know. So I always check it just to make sure that I that I know what's happening. I always think about that kind of stuff. It's not good. It kind of makes the ride more fun, though, because I'm like, oh, I'm going to die. God damn. Second sponsor of the episode, big shout out to Crowd Health. Okay, for many people in the U.S. concerned about the cost of health insurance, there is no good options. Okay, you can either go uninsured, stupid, or pay through the nose for a high deductible plan with questionable coverage, all because of a broken health insurance system. Okay, it's like being stuck with an outdated cable TV plan and not knowing about Netflix. All right? Oh no, step bro, I'm stuck with an outdated cable TV plan. <laughs> Boo! Anyways, CrowdHealth is a community of people who are tired, me, of paying for a broken system, a place where you can get a simple, flexible, a, an affordable way to pay for your health care. <laughs> Being in the CrowdHealth community can save you hundreds of dollars monthly and put thousands of dollars back in your pocket. You know what that means? Bigger pocket, bigger ass, Papa John's. Let's go, dude. Using their app, find <laughs> nearly any doctor in the country, okay? Ranked from one star to five stars. Only choose five-star doctors, obviously. Scan bills and throw them away, all right? Crowd Health takes it from there. Press the button to receive virtual care anytime, anywhere, all right? Guys, it is that simple. Crowd Health is able to offer amazing prices because of its community of health conscious members. All right. But for a limited time, our listeners get their first month free. That is free. And after you've been a member, Crowd Health will include a fitness wearable that's 30 huh. days, try risk free, plus the fitness wearable. Okay. Just go to joincrowdhealth.com backslash fit and enter code socks at sign up. That's join crowdhealth.com backslash fit promo code socks crowd health is not health insurance it's a community powered alternative terms and conditions may apply uh god damn how do you want to die <laughs> not on a roller coaster <laughs> that'd be fun though No, because then the roller coaster outshadows you and that my ego is just i got too much pride in myself to be like he was killed by a roller coaster and then and everybody just wants to know about the roller coaster and what six Flags is going to do to compensate no I need to be the headline. Man killed at Six Flags. No. No. What do you think they're going to say when you die off a roller coaster? Do you think they're going to be like, influencer Trevor? Why? Oh Are you God. okay with that? Because Don't say influencer. I know, but here's the shitty thing. They're going to. Oh, no. They're going to say influencer. They're not going to say comedian. They might well, be like, Why would they not say comedian? No, because the thing you're most recognizable for is the videos. Uh -huh. So they're going to say influencer. Here's they the say YouTuber. But then it sounds oh, like I like tried to like go on a roller coaster as like a prank and be like, no seatbelt. 
Uh, riding a roller coaster with no seatbelt? Not clickbait. How would you upload that? Mid air, you're like, fuck. <laughs> Anybody got any Wi Fi? I think that I think they would say YouTuber actually. Or what? They give me the proper bio that every person in Los Angeles has. It's like comedian, actor, YouTuber, vlogger, yeah. politician. How do you feel about? TikToker Trevor Wallace dies a in a roller coaster. Accident. Not a fan. If my dad texts me one more time with a clip being like, "Hey, this person's a, a viral TikToker. He has thirty thousand views. Fucking idiot." He like roasts people what? about when when take when like quote unquote. Oh oh oh! When like articles. When articles do that. Yeah yeah. He's like, hey, are they? Yeah. Um. But yeah, what would you be okay with TikToker? Oh, <clears throat> I would be not okay with anything else besides comedian. I, comedian is just nice because it's all in the same bubble. Yeah. What do I do on TikTok? Com Show my comedy. Cock. Comedy. Comedy. Everything that I do online, ideally, hopefully, is under the intention of comedy. So I hope yes. to be a comedian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, if you know what one would hurt? Give it to me. X Viner. Ugh. Oh you my hear that god. Sometimes. You know what would really hurt? Pedophile. <laughs> What do you do? You're if like they, I'm not what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do if they went? How cast guy killed on a roller coaster? I'd kill myself again. <laughs> <laughs> like how? How? I don't know. I would like be in reincarnated into a butterfly and then I'd kill myself again. <laughs> as a butterfly. Yeah, as a butterfly. If you're, you're just flying in front of all the truckers. Oh yeah, it would be quick. I'd pull my wings off. If you could get reincarnated into something, what would you be? Uh, Hogwart. You'd be a Hogwart. I didn't. Oh, I meant warthog. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Hogwarts is wait, 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 That's wait, from wait. Harry Potter. My brain is hurting today. Hogwarts. Hogwarts is where Harry Potter went. Wart hog is just Hogwarts flipped. Why did he need to go to school? Why did he need to go to school? Did nobody realize that? <laughs> I'm sure I feel like that. <laughs> but real quick. Off the vape, dude. Dude, <laughs> first of all, how come we're not smoking the vape? And one more question. <laughs> Lucy. Why did he need to go to school? Who, Harry Potter? Harry Potter. Didn't he live in a closet? What kind of Gary V shit are you on right now? You don't need to go to school to be a sorcerer. Just go to YouTube. For real. I legit had a friend drop out of college. Funny enough, to, he, he was also the ring guy that I was telling you about earlier. Ring oh, guy. Fuck. Dropped out of college two years in to go, I can teach myself all this on YouTube. Here's the thing. No, you can't. You can't do well, yourself biology on YouTube. YouTube doesn't have frat parties and titties. That, that a majority of the people who go to college are big. I just want the experience. I'll fucking major in whatever, aka com majors, yeah. and just I just want to have a good time for four years. Then I'll figure it out. Yeah, dude. I, when I finished high school, I was like, I don't want to go to college. I, I was gonna go in the army. Were you really? At, yeah. Floor general. I know. Salute me. <laughs> but I will say, then I thought about all the. Uh, <laughs> I would be missing out on or getting when you get home oh yeah after you ever got after boot camp with <laughs> after Holy boot camp box title salute <laughs> uh what do you yo know, i mean the the level of horniness when you get back from the army it's got to be high what are you putting in your tinder bio you just got back from the army and you're and you're in your hometown or you're in a new city what what is your bio <laughs> pussy <laughs> It would just say pussy. Question mark. What is your cash app? I, but you're trying to get girls to be like, like in in one sentence. Oh, if I'm give, being in like one sentence, real? give me your elevator pitch. I'm like, <clears throat> I'm back from the army, and I'm single, yeah. and I would love to <laughs> come. I fight for your freedom. I also want to fight for your pussy. Okay. Not too bad. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I wouldn't use the P word. Uh, let me, I fight for America. Now let me fight for you. That's pretty good. Fuck. Fight for you is good. That's pretty good. Fuck. I, yeah, I'm, I'm sure right in if you've seen any of these, because there's, there's definitely dudes out there that are putting that. That or I think it's maybe a couple emojis. Just like let them know. Because yeah. it's like, you know, that's like getting a blue check mark, but in real life, you're like, oh, I fought for this country. I'm a verified, like, fucking badass. Yeah. Fuck I, me. I think they just put a bunch of pictures of them in uniform, right? What's the hottest uniform? What am uniform? I talking about? Yes. Yeah, what's the hottest uniform on, dude? Not, uh, not camo. I'll tell hot you dog what it is right now. Huh? <laughs> hot dog on a stick. That's the hottest uniform? Do you uniform? know what they wear? 
Who? We've for sure seen this. Oh yeah, yeah, Hot yeah, dog yeah, on yeah. a stick. Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they look like somebody just condensed a game of uh, Twister and just put it on them. Yeah, these are great. I think we've looked them on the show before. They look yeah, like yeah, real yeah. life of the spinner hats. Yeah, they look like parachutes that just shrunk. I mean, imagine getting your shit clapped in a goddamn hot dog on a stick outfit. It's kind of hot. The hats are kind of. Other than that, the shirt, I would just wear that striped shirt. You know? I could wear that with my outfit now, and I, and I would feel not great, but I could do it. It's the hat that's hilarious. If you could tell your girl to wear anything in bed, what would it be? Another man's dick. She would wear <laughs> another man's dick? No. Uh, anything. Uh, like, I, I would, things, things that are hot. Like, like she works play? at like a bowling alley or, you know what I mean? Okay. Or she's like an ice cream man or... You know, she sells Bibles door to door. Like, what is she? You know, there's something just about the skirt, skirt, yeah. and the fucking clear frame glasses oh, with a clear. white. Now we're clear. getting specific. What other glasses is she gonna wear? Stevie Wonder glasses in that shit? Sometimes clear, but I mean, they they could be like nerd glasses where they're like they have the black frame. You nerd, want the clear nerd, frame? Nerds usually have clear frame. I don't think you know what the word frame means. You mean like glasses? <laughs> what? Well, like what frames are the frames of the glasses. Right. What did I say? You said clear frame glasses. I meant clear comma clear frame comma glasses. I, I'm still confused. Gabe, edit Michael out of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. You know, okay. You, know, you know the glasses I have? Those are clear yes. frame glasses. Oh, don't wear those. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to hack my cock? <laughs> the main frame connects to... Whoa. Uh, yeah, no, I'm doing black glasses, clear, clear lens. Yeah, ner like nerdy glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the white button up, but tied kind of, yeah. kind of like Britney Spears. Fuck first all video. this Britney Spears toxic video. Wear that Can toxic video. See? Have you no to the toxic no. video is the one where she has, she has a snake. Uh, I don't think so. No, uh, toxic. Isn't she the flight attendant? No, no, it's like it's like a it's like her very first with gold. Her very first video. Yeah, there oh, we go. That one. There it is. Which oh, third, that. Which third, one? Uh, yeah, the toxic one. She has a snake. Oh, that's not the video. That's I think it's TV. from a live performance. Fuck. Sorry. Still was iconic. Horny, you remember a live performance? Michael Boss. <laughs> oh no, go God. up. Yeah, yeah we down, see it. I see slower. it. Stop. All right. Right there. It's in middle. the middle next to the blue one. Yup. That yeah. one. Yeah. I don't even know what she's wearing. It looks like she's wearing a goddamn filter, but gee, sus. Christ. Yeah. I remember seeing that, that music yeah. video come out, and I was like, Oh, this is that's it. Right this there. is America. That's it. Why are we singing the Pledge of Allegiance? Fuck it. Put on the toxic music video. God damn. Ken Shun. Uh, no, but I, I some about a schoolgirl fit. Yeah. I don't know what Teach it is about me skirts. math, bitch. So what is it about skirts? I, it's easy access. <laughs> you can smell it. You can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can yeah. smell it from far away. <laughs> Gabe, Gabe, I'm so sorry to always ask you to look up stuff, but that white jism that comes out of a woman's vulva sometimes, what is that? It, what is it? It it looks like the white stuff that comes off an oyster. Like when you open an oyster. Uh, that's the richest reference I've ever heard. All right. You ever been shucking for oysters? What does shucking mean? The little thing you... you oh, hold on. Do we shuck for them? I don't Do know. We, when you open it, is that shucking? Yeah. Uh, What's an oyster? <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? Is that the one where the pearls come in? No, that's a clam. No, I jump. Clams have uh, oysters. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> clams have oysters. I feel weird. Yo. I feel dumb. I will say that. No, I feel weird because the vape. I'm having a great no time. No way. Yeah. Oh, I don't have, ever have any nicotine. I feel a little loosey goosey. Speaking Whoa. of, insert the ass. Lucy. <laughs> um, so do we get do we what's know what's secretion? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean what's secretion? <laughs> I do it. It's when it, something you can something. secrete. So like yeah, like the if your pores Don't would give secrete. Me one of those sweat. bullshit definitions. <laughs> no, but like uh, um like is like, that secretion when it's like the the white shit that you're talking about? Like the way we sweat out of our skin, you're essentially sweating you're a excre Secre excre excreting sweat. Ex excreting. Excreting. Excrete, secrete. Excreting. Is this discharge that you're talking about, would you consider it thick? Discharge. <laughs> is it thick? Dishonorably discharged. Discharge? That's such a weird name to call it. Like, it sounds so powerful. Like, you've been discharged. Yeah, I mean, that's, you're fired. That's extra being fired. Because you could be, can you imagine being discharged from a, from fucking, 
Corn dogs on a stick? What's that called? <laughs> Hot dog on a stick? Wait, corn dogs on a stick. Corn dogs are always on a stick, unless they're mini corn dogs. A few days before ovulation, discharge is stretchy, clear, Whoa. and similar to egg whites. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Wait, That's what I'm talking did about. Did you see it last night? Oh, no. I see it a lot. Ovulation. I've been getting, be getting deep. <laughs> Shut the fuck. No, but dude, that means she's ovulating. I'll be shucking boy oysters in that. <laughs> she's ovulating. I was just talking about this in the car last night. We got ice cream uh -oh. and we were talking about uh -oh. pregnancies. Not that we're having one, but Whoa. no, 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 no. I don't know how we got on the topic of it. Oh, IUDs and just, and then like how the eggs and they fall, but the, the fuck again, she's talking about her uterine walls. Ew. One of the funniest words <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. A uterine wall? A uterine walls. And she's like, when you when you, the IUD, it makes the uterine walls really thin, so it can't stick. So technically, sperm can be entering the cell every time you nut, but in the yeah. IUD, it makes the walls thin, so that you can't connect. Fucking uterine wall. Next time I go rock climbing, I'm gonna ask <laughs> where the uterine wall is. <laughs> I want to climb the uterine wall to but the top. Ovulating. That means your girl could get prego. Ew. You're raw, are you raw dog, Ralph, right now? Or? Boy, stop. You I ain't wearing no raincoat. But she, she not on the control of birth. Nah. Are you nervous? What about discharge? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I do what is called lay pull out. Right. Yeah. But mm -hmm. sometimes. Right. You ever seen a music festival? They got gates up and then three people hop the fence and uh -huh. they're like, ah, fuck. Yeah. What if one of those three people break in and then get to the main stage? I gotta make a phone call. <laughs> uh, um, where, yeah, I mean, listen, listen, dude. If where they, are you? Um, grand finaleing. Oh, oh, grand finaleing. I've been coming a lot of my own chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, weren't you? Because you were talking about you've been finishing with the feet lately. Right? Yeah, you can pull out and just come on your own chest. No, no, that's that dude, be, call that the emergency that break. Fucking ah! fucking funny if you. Call out That's what and it then, sounds like. No, because I've been coming a bunch on uh, on the. I've been getting a lot of feet foot jobs. Yeah, I, and I I would tell you what I've been not getting discharged from discharge from a goddamn foot job. I've been getting hired a bunch of times. Yeah, zip recruiter me. <laughs> <laughs> zip recruiter. <laughs> Died off. <laughs> zip recruiter. Um. Yeah. So I've just. I've been Is doing that stuff. a pimp? A pimp is zip recruiter. Well, here's the thing, sir. You asked me where I'm ejaculate, excreting, discharging, if you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you recently, lately? Because <laughs> I've been, you've been telling me it's je m'appelle mouth. Yeah. Okay. Until last night. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like Beef Wellington. Next coming to the stage. What? <laughs> Here's the thing. Okay. <laughs> Do I need a mint julep? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, you know when you don't intend on, you're like, oh, I got a few more positions in me. Oh. And then yeah. you, your gas tank goes from like 15 miles left in the tank, and then all of a sudden it says two, and you're like, uh -huh. am I on a hill? And you're like, oh fuck, uh -huh. I'm on flat ground. Do we I better get off at an exit soon. I got a flat tire. Let's just say that exit happened to be in a certain dark area known as the vaginal tunnels, I mean, AKA the uterine walls. I came inside. It was raining yesterday. Your boy coming in hunt. Oh, no inside. raincoat, no galoshes. No poncho. No, I mean, if there's no IUD, I, that was like, that would have been the nut to make a baby. Oh, it was a lot. Good nut. What? No, it was, me. It, was, it was me. it was me knocking on wood. Gabe's off the nicotine. No, I knocked on wood because it was a one of the more powerful ones that were at least like 17 of the, the them boy sperms would have yeah. like been knock knocking on the egg. You ever seen? We were looking at this last night in the car. A, 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 an egg with all the sperm on it? I always thought that like one, one. sperm was yeah. in like a landslide ahead. Yeah. But you look at the egg and they're, the motherfuckers are all around it. Ew, ew, ew. But no, there's like, like swarms covered. of semen. Uh, yeah. Gross. No, it, it, but like, I always thought it was one clear winner in Me the head. Because it's, they're all on it and it's the first one to break into the center. So I was like, just because you got to the island doesn't mean you got the coconut. Also, let me ask you this. So if there's a was bunch- Was that not the best analogy? 
You swam to the island, but the first person to get the coconut on the island. Oh, I understand. All right. No, 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 no I understand. <laughs> no, I understand. But, but I, I thought it was like the first one to be like, <clears throat> like, uh, oh, last one to touch the egg is the rotten egg, you know? Oh, that's one to touch the egg is the rotten egg. Yeah. I thought it was just like this went up and then it was like a straight shot in. But if there's a bunch around yeah. and one gets in, does a referee blow a whistle and that's say everyone else go also, away? That's what I was wondering. Because how do they not end up with 19 in there? Because the whole mission for spermicitis is to get the fuck in there. Damn. So I don't understand. Dude, I wonder if the sperm, the sperm are like talking shit, like fist fighting. Bro, that fucking... It's like a bouncer comes out. Look at this stupid pre-cum baby. He doesn't even deserve to be here. He got a head start. Head. Pre-cum. Pre-cum babies get a head start. Is that not true? That is true. Wow. Hold on. Throw a flag on the play. Blow the whistle. But they don't... But the, but the pre-cum, they sort of just like tumble in there like a tumbleweed. Right, but they're still starting before the initial load. Yeah, but they don't get the Mario star. The sperm that come out the cock Guinness... Yeah, wow. They get, so, they get blown out of goddamn cannon. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> but sometimes the pre-cum has that much time. It's like you might get a little pre-cum out, and then you take a little second, you eat a little bit of the jack and the box excuse so me the pre-com might, might, might be already traveling my box is late <laughs> you knew you were uh not fast and running growing up when the kid you were like racing against will be like he'll give you like a 10 second head start 10 seconds too long what are you gonna do make a fucking quiche over there just come dude if you get a 10 seconds 10 second head start yeah. and you lose oh i was always you, that kid really well i mean you'd be close but they'd be like, oh, I'll, I'll start running once you hit that mailbox. Damn. It's fucked up. It is fucked up. At that point, just don't race me. I'm trying yeah. to get jacked off underneath the jungle gym. <laughs> A lot of J's. A lot of J's. Where's the weirdest place you hooked up with as a kid? The creek? Let's move on. I hooked up, I hooked up in a goddamn creek. Weird. Tadpoles. I, I jerked off there. You did? Did I tell you this? I think so. You've always been an outside man, huh? <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking You're an explorer. Girls. Yeah. I do like the, the great outdoors. Women have discharge. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Me or them? Or? Just a discharge. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. I kind of, when the first time I was on my, on my Caguinas, the discharge, I was like, oh, woman come. <laughs> not, not it. Uh-uh. Nah. Nah. Discharge. Yeah. God damn. Lucy. Shout out to our third sponsor of this podcast. Yes. Look, we're all adults here. Yeah, we are. All right. And some of us choose to use nicotine to relax. Personally, I jerk off. But <laughs> a lot of my friends use nicotine. And what better type of nicotine than Lucy Nicotine? All right. It is a company that was created to help nicotine users find a cleaner and you know, just a better option to the ways they consume their nicotine. The newest product is the Slim Nicotine Pouches, which contain pure synthetic nicotine and provide the same satisfaction that the nicotine users expect, but without any tobacco in it. And let me tell you something. If you guys were watching or listening, did you see how dumb we looked vaping? Oh, click button, <coughs> click button, cough, <coughs> cough. Stupid. Yeah. Idiot. What am I, a Nissan Altima with a chimney sweep on it? I sure wish I was, but I'm not. Let me ask you a question. You put a sl when you put a slim pouch, can you cough off a pouch? Can you look like an idiot with a pouch in your mouth? Dude, they're discreet. They're incognito. Time to fill my lip with you got it. nicotino. That works. That works. All yeah. right. And they come in three strengths. Four, eight, and 12 milligrams, and three exclusive and delicious, mmm, delicious flavors. Spearmint, mango, and cool cider. Ooh, okay. I'll tell you what, man. What? Uh, I've, I used to chew in high school, yeah. right? And then when they sponsored the podcast, they sent it to me. I was like, dude, it's been a while since I threw one yeah. in, bro. And I was editing, and I threw one in, and I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Your boy felt it. I was like, oh, shoot. Okay. I was just sitting there geeked up off the nicotine i mean not really i'm just overplaying it but yeah, I, yeah. dude i felt like very just like kind of Chill. chilled out just zend in yeah. and uh there's no mess afterwards you pop it in you pop it out anyways look 
It's 2021. Don't compromise when you're choosing your nicotine products, mm-hmm. all right? Go with the newest tobacco-free options from Lucy. And Stiff Socks listeners, what? that's you, that's me, that's Gabe, that's anybody who's at the stoplight next to me while I'm blasting this cum podcast. Go to lucy.co, that's lucy.co, and use promo code SOCKS to get 20% off your order of Lucy Slim pouches or, or. any Lucy products. That's lucy.co, C-O, use promo code SOCKS at the checkout. Hey, guys. What? I gotta let you know. What, dude? We're all adults here. Yeah. But let's be smart. Okay. okay? I have to give this disclaimer. What? Warning. This product contains non-tobacco nicotine. Nicotine is still an addictive chemical. Lucy.co. Be sure to use that promo code. Sucks. God damn. Should we run it? Let's run it. Let's run it. Gabriel? Let's run it. Hit Um, me with it. We got a sock talk here. Let's do it. This is a submission from... Let me guess. Matt Bronger. (laughs) Wow, you got it. No, this is from Jacob Carr. And uh, Jacob says, can we get a top five hottest women to ever exist? My girlfriend, my girlfriend, my girlfriend, my girlfriend, and Trevor's girlfriend. (laughs) Uh, Wow. All right. Well, here we go. Do they all have to be people? (laughs) The the fact that you're asking, I'm going to say, no, they don't. Trevor, I want to hear it. Lola Bunny. Lola Bunny, bad. You know who we miss a lot? Nala. Nala, yeah. Nala from Lion King? Yeah. Hey! All right. Well, uh, a, these aren't in order. I'm going to just start giving you a few. Okay. Right. The first one that comes to my mind, the girl who played Vicky Valancourt yep. in mm-hmm. Waterboy. That's right up your alley. Yeah, we shot oh, her. Oh, I her think I've seen her, but bring her up. Bring Vicky her up. Valancourt. Bring that. Number, next one I'm throwing in the mix. Oh, dude, yeah, that did the, the fucking, no. the SCL. Yeah, no, that. no, no, no. No, she can't be in the fucking top five hottest no, 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 women no. of all time. Click, click, top row, third one to the right. Oh no, she's bad. But no, okay, she's bad. Her attitude and the character she played in there, I'm throwing it. In. This, <clears throat> this is my list, by the way. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? Fuck me. You're right. The, yeah, Vicky Valancourt, right? Okay. Topanga. <laughs> oh, Topanga. Boy. Number. Uh, ne- and these are un- not in order. Uh, next one, we're going. Uh. See, you, you, you can buy it horny and counting, and this just doesn't, this isn't going to end well. I'm going to jump in, or you want to finish your list? Uh, you I, can, got a, you, I got a few. I don't think I have all five. Yeah, rattle them off. Okay, I have a, um, this is going to be, you know, Mila Kunis in Black Swan. Okay, I fuck, can see it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to, uh, Akira Knightley is one of the highest women of all time. It's not even close. She's so bad. I want to kill myself. I look at her. and I want to kill myself. And uh, there's one, the, a new, the newest one in my list, which I think we've brought up, who is might be the baddest one of all time in my brain, is the girl in Knives Out. I can never remember her name. Oh yeah. God, holy Hannah McFuckson. That's not even a real sentence. Holy McCann. That's it. Bring her up. Anna. Anna. Oh okay. yeah. <laughs> Look, no, no, click that one. I can't see what you're doing. Yeah, <laughs> click the one with your blind hair at the end. Please. Talk dirty to me. <laughs> Spin me around. Yeah, a lot of these. Put come- dreidels in my asshole. <laughs> a lot of mine are like nostalgic ones that like throughout like a period of my time, period of my life where I was like, this is the hottest girl in my life. And then I go a little bit more and I go, this is the hottest girl in my life. I got two that are that. Uh, what's her name from Say by the Bell? One of mine right now, for sure. Uh, also, I'll throw in an honorable mention. This woman had my heart in college. Kate Upton. Holy Toledo, my cock olus. The hard part is, like, I have a whole list. Yeah, Kate Upton. Bad. Bad. Great. I have a whole list. Kate but a lot Upton, of them why don't you just... go downton? Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> okay, you're off the list. <laughs> uh, a lot of them are, like, women I've seen on, like, Pornhub. I was like, I have no idea what your name is, but I, someday I will come across you again. Literally. Yeah. Um, but uh, then... Motherfucking, uh, oh man, all right, hold up. I think we're, we're probably missing like a, a you like, know, who my the obvious one for me is is again, it's like the specific kind of nostalgia, but is Cameron Diaz in the mask? Yes, yes, Cameron, bring Diaz. it up. Oh my freaking lord Christ, that red dress. Oh, <gasps> come on, this is gonna be a wild one. Can I tell you a wild one? Yeah. What's her name in V for Vendetta when she has her, sh- her head shaved? Oh, Natalie Portman, same. Mother of Christ, my Pull it Jesus. Up. Put Jamie. Put peanut butter on my grundle and call me Sammy Johnson. I wish I've seen more movies. I don't know. Bring her up. 
That's you? Natalie Portman in V Veneta, but also Natalie Portman just in general is in, in my list too. Yeah. I mean, oh my God. Oh my God. I'm trying to think of one to finish it all up. Who's that woman from The Notebook? What's her name? Rachel McAdams? Lisa yeah. Ann? Fuck. Girl Next Door. Yeah. Put it in my back door. <laughs> oh, I have one more. I have one more. I have one more. Oh, boy. What's her name from Pearl Harbor, the movie? Ben Affleck? <laughs> ben Affleck? No, but the uh, <clears throat> the woman. I forget her name. In Pearl Harbor, the movie. Kate Beckinsale? Oh, my God. Holy crap. Who are we missing, Trev? We got to be missing one more person. I mean, do we do like Pamela Anderson? Is that even real? Uh, I'm trying to think. I feel like there's <clears throat> definitely some adult actresses that I'm just like, Oh, I mean, Riley Reed off Jump Top Seats. He, well, yeah, this is top five in. It doesn't have to be just movies. Yeah. Oh, right. Be be well, I mean, they are in movies. Uh, Brookstone. Yeah. Movies. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'll tell you who's not on the list. My girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I just did that for jokes, man. If you're listening, please don't. Oh, fuck. It's too late. You're fucked. She's already investigating all of these movies and drawing a, a Venn diagram of what they all have in common. And with strings. Like, yeah, exactly. How come they always use strings? I don't know. Use a laser pointer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Is that it? Yeah, I'm sure there's one. Are we I'm missing one, Gabriel? There's got to be. But yeah, I'm sure we are. We got to be. All right. So let's do this real quick right before in. we move Stop. on. Yeah. Let's just, just do top 15, 20, whatever, 10 hottest girls of all time, and then we'll see if we missed one. Because I'm sure we're missing just one that we're like, we're dumb. We're dumb. We're stupid and dumb. Topanga was a great pull, though. I wonder if Kate Upton follows me. There's zero percent chance she does. Oh, Celina Gomez is freaking bad. Guys, got great news. She oh. doesn't follow <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't know Celina Gomez was this bad. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see if she follows me. Kate Upton is a man. <clears throat> is a man? Oh, Justin Verlander. Oh, well, yeah. You know that is? Yeah. Pitcher? Yeah. He pitching something else. God damn. Who is that? Jenner. Kendall. Oh. She's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Devin Booker. Emrata? Book yeah, oh, yeah. I remember uh, there was a movie where she... What movie Who's was this? that? She, Emily Ronikowski? <gasps> we forgot. She's great. I remember I saw... Great. Uh, I'm trying to sound horny here. She, there's a movie where, her, where she's naked. Ben Affleck's in it. Her tits are out for a second. Yeah. Did I ever tell you that? And then he like murdered the family, but he was like, I didn't do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gone girl. Yeah, so gone her, girl. Her tits were out for like 2.7 seconds. I'll tell you what else would be going and if I, I go, go ahead. And I just remember I was like, I was like on my phone or something. And I looked and, and my roommate at the time was like, Oh yeah, there she go with tits out. And then I was like, Oh, wait, what? Go back. And I was next to my girlfriend. She's like, Oh, we we're just gonna go back. And you missed him. I was like, yeah, what's the big deal? And then later when Ben Affleck has his profile dong shot out, it's just yeah. it's a side profile of an erect uh -huh. penis. Yeah. Dong out. She goes, oh, should we go back? And I was like, yeah, it's Ben Affleck. Let me see it. Of course. Take the two, put them in a cardboard cutout. Let me have it. You know who has a wing, a, like a wing stop Trevor Wallace. of a cock? Yes, but you're the second person has a wing stop of a cock? Kevin Bacon. Really? I ain't a vegetarian. Put it on <laughs> Really? Yeah. Who are the... Okay, real quick before we move on. Yeah. yeah. Just type in top 10 porn stars. Yeah. And then I'll, let's watch our videos too. <laughs> <laughs> Hottest porn stars 2021. Who's making this list? Riley Reed. Oh, God. Oh, there's this, tits I'm on the screen. Fucking, oh, no. This is not good this for... This is not our, okay. Our testosterone is draining. Yes. Miss Riley Reed. Reed. Riley Reed. Autumn, Autumn Falls. Falls. Don't, know Don't know who that is. Great name. Gabby Carter. Don't know who that is. Honorable mention. My girl, G. Carter. I, I don't know who a lot of porn stars are. I don't really search porn, to be honest. Or porn stars, I mean. I'll be on porn like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know that one. The top, the one that blew before. I think I know that one. She does some goth stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eva Elfie. Okay, uh -huh. okay, okay. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. Abella Danger. Yeah. Hey. She's my number five, Abella. Abella? Okay. Put it in. Oh, shit. Not Would you be so player. scared of... Fucking porn star. I would be so scared. Uh, I just like this. I'm not doing this. I'm not. I would just go into it understanding that I might not be good at it. And that's would, fine. Would you use numbing spray? I would use a I lot would. of things. I would pop a blue chew and spray my cockiness down with numbing spray. Yeah, I would dip my dick like as a chocolate covered strawberry and numbing spray. She'd be like, does that feel good? I'm like, I can't feel anything. Yeah. 
I would inject it with silicone. I would go to the dentist and they'd be like, do you have a toothache? I'd be like, no, but I need it all. <laughs> I need it all. Yeah. There's probably some like, there's so many out there that are just like honorable mentions, like a mom in an HBO show you saw 13 years ago. You're like, yeah. who is that? You know who I'd like to play poker with, if you will? <laughs> I'm all in, full house, here's my cock. <laughs> <laughs> who would you like to play cards with? A dick of cards. Another um, title. I lost her name, dude. She's in uh Fuck! Gabe, you gotta help me out. Lois Griffin could low key get Reese piped. Witherspoon. Yeah. Reese Witherspoon. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? What? The sound? <laughs> yeah. Sex. <laughs> what cartoon would you go with? Uh a bitch from um Space Jam. Top five hottest cartoons that could get it. Number one, Lola Bunny. Number yes. two, Girl from Futurama. Leela? Mm -hmm. Leela. I'm in Leela, 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 love. Number three, we're going Mrs. Incredible because she could stretch a lot of things. Uh, number four, Lois Griffin. Oh. Hot Peter. Take. No. Yeah. No. Oh, Peter. The way you move in your cock. Cock. Dude, look at that. You, but here's the thing. I'm not thinking about Lois Griffin from Family Guy. I'm thinking about the Lois Griffin that you get yeah, on the side the points, of, yeah. of the adult website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever seen her on the yes. side of a website? Yes. You're like, hot. Second of all, why is it Brian the dog piping her down? Have you ever seen Brian the dog's cockiness? <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Bark, bark. Let's Unfortunately, go, Unfortunately, yeah. And then fifth <clears throat> and final hottest, uh, motherfucking Velma. Scooby-Doo. Wow, that's a good one. Because Velma got that that side when you know once they find you just like glasses on a girl. I just like girls who can see my dick in full uh, high def. Well, they need glasses to see it because it's so small. Yeah, what do you think I'm trying to say? Uh, <laughs> but I feel like she's just a freak when she get back home when they do the mystery and they they find out it's oh you're, if it wasn't for you goddamn meddling shut up let's go back to the studio apartment let's find out something else under this mask. Yeah, why do you like Scooby Doo so much? Here's another dog. <laughs> Michael, top five hottest cartoon characters that you would may or may not take to a nice date and then animate something else. Uh, my top five hottest cartoons. Ready and go. Uh, Jessica Rabbit. Boom. Uh, Tinkerbell. Is that legal? Yes. She's like a thousand years old. Damn. Guilt's out here. Anyways. Nala from Lion King. Is Boom. that legal? Look it up, Gabe. <laughs> Marge Simpson. Uh huh? Where do you think I'm hiding my cockiness? Dude. In there. She would smoke your dick like a fucking marble. Oh, Jesus Christ, Michael. Come on over here. Hot. <laughs> and the last one, Jasmine from Aladdin. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't get enough credit. Magic carpet ride. Give me your carpet. Lick, lick. <laughs> Pocahontas, honorable mention. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Guys, those are both very solid lists. Thank you. Um, all right, we got to get into a sock or into a secret sock now. Yep. Um, this is uh this one's pretty straightforward. This is an anonymous submission that says, "I just want to let you guys know that circle jerks are the best." <laughs> yeah, I, I see why they're anonymous. There you go. Circle jerks are the best. Have you uh, even thought about it? No. Me neither. Uh, yeah, the closest I've ever come to a circle jerk is jerking off next to a mirror. Yeah, closest I've ever come to jerking off uh, a circle jerk is when I jerk off with two hands. I'm like, whoa, is that another person? Nope, just me. What's that shit called where you sit on your hands so it feels like somebody else? The else's? stranger. Yeah. How I, is that not illegal? Uh, if you walk in on your buddy ever sitting on his hand, move out. Yeah, he's like, my hands are cold. Are they? <laughs> are they, sir? We live in Tempe, Arizona. Okay. Dude, I used to put on uh, those doctor gloves and jerk off. <laughs> what the fuck did you say to me? I used to put on the doctor gloves and J.O. No, I heard you, but oh, okay. what? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. With like the, the, the latex ones? The latex ones. I used to put what? on latex gloves and go to town on my And you put some lube, lube yeah, on Yeah. So I couldn't feel it. So it felt like someone else doing it. I'm a genius, dude. I don't know if genius is a word the audience is going to be thinking of. Uh-huh. My mm -hmm. mom's a nurse, so the latex gloves were everywhere. Oh, no. Yeah. So I literally... Oh, it, no. It was great because first of all, it's a, it, there's like no friction. You put a little Vaseline, little Prometheum jelly... Oh, am I at Waterworld? Yeah, then she looks under your bed. She's like, why the fuck are all these gloves in here? What ghosts Operation, are you looking for? Operation, bitch. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Circus Jerk, all the best. Yeah, uh, sometimes you got to get off your chest. Yeah. Or your homie's chest. Is that it? 
That was it. Yeah, he just uh, needed needed to let you guys know. So I wonder if anybody's ever been jerked off while tandem biking. I wonder if anyone has ever done a square jerk. Does it always have to be a circle? You can probably do square. You can do mm -hmm. a triangle if you really wanted. I think triangle functionally you kind of need a circle. <clears throat> square, like you might be too far away from the homies to really get there. No, you can do it. But what if you have an odd number of people? Is there is there always enough hands to do it? Then it's a uh, pentagon. But figure out the math. Is there always enough hands? Because there's three yeah. people. Yeah. Then yeah. there's one. Well, you only need one hand because you're just extending to somebody else and somebody's on you. Oh, I understand. But that's yeah. the best one is when you, you always got a free hand. Text your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be a little late tonight. <laughs> Let's just say fantasy football punishments were a little tougher than usual this year. Is it ordering Postmates? Would you, what are you going to case for yeah. you? <laughs> yeah, what do you... You pull your own hair? Oh. You ever, you ever pinch your own nipple? All right. I haven't. I'm just really... <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm honestly asking. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, that's another installment of Stiff Sucks. Holy crap. I don't know one thing we talked about. On I literally have no idea what's happening. But I do know what's happening. Friendly reminder, we have a Patreon. If you guys want four extra episodes a month that come out every Friday ad-free, uh, only $5, and you have access to the Discord and wild, hilarious, crazy, uh, iconic episodes on the Patreon, which is one, the Gabe interview. A lot of people want to see what Gabe is. That's how you do it. You go on Patreon, sign up, um, and that is it, man. So uh, get on that Patreon ASAP. And uh, as I always say, guys, thank you so much for watching and listening. You guys are awesome. And uh, go rate, subscribe, and review on Spotify and iTunes. It really helps us out. Until next time. Bye.